Hello and welcome to this week's video. Um, this week I haven't managed to get out what with the uh, Jubilee weekend last weekend and everything going on. Um, I've not managed to get out too much. Um, so I thought this week I would do uh, something a little bit different again. Um, I've had a few questions asked on some of my uh, some of my previous videos regarding my my editing flow and and the, my editing technique with my woodland photography. So um, what I'm going to do with this video, I'm going I'm going to pick on uh, one of, one of my older older images and um, I'll take you through my workflow regarding the uh, my editing technique. So. Uh, Okay, so the video I'm going to choose from is a one from a few weeks back. Um, it was a walk up uh, a lane up at Holford. I wasn't feeling the best of moods. Um, couldn't struggle to find compositions, etc. And then all of a sudden I was about to give up. And the setting sun all of a sudden just, just lit up this area and gave me some fantastic lighting um, on on some trees that caught my eye so the uh, image I've chosen is is taken from that video so I, I will put a link up above for the um, for that video so you can watch it um, so for now let's jump into Lightroom and I'll show you the uh, image that I've chosen okay so this is uh, the chosen image in uh, in Lightroom. Um, firstly, every time I either do this on importing or do it um, with the selected image, um, but the first thing I do is go to Lens Corrections and then enable your um, lens profile. That will make any quick adjustments to it. Okay, so we're going to start off. Um, the exposure, um, I'm quite happy with the uh, exposure at the moment. The histogram looks okay, so um, so we'll leave that. Uh, we will take the uh, take the contrast up just a little. Uh, just take that up, take that there to just 22, just to bring a bit of contrast in. Okay, um, and then what we're going to do is the highlights. We're going to bring them, bring the highlights down a bit, and the shadows will just increase slightly, and then the blacks. I always like to bring the blacks down. Gives it a bit more, a bit more depth. And the clarity will just increase very slightly. I'll leave the vibrance and everything as it is because all some of these greens, um, I, I don't like them that vibrant, but I'll, I'll take them down um, in a second using the color controls. Okay, so the highlights, I'm just gonna bring the highlights now back up slightly on this one and the lights up very slightly so that's uh, highlighting here on the sides of these trees then and then we'll just take the darks down just a little bit that gives us a little bit more contrast there okay um, and then what I'm going to do in the saturation and the luminance I'm just going to take the greens down slightly there, um, and that's that's just tone these greens down very slightly that are that are in the in the back. Okay, so um, what I'm just going to do next is over here. These highlights over here are they seem quite strong, so I'm going to get myself a masking brush. Let's just uh, make that a little bit bigger, and then I'm just going to mask out this, these sort of highlighted hair areas here, and then just bring the highlights down 
a bit more maybe just bring the exposure down slightly just a little bit just to take just to take that high big highlighted area down that's over over in that corner um, okay so happy with that click done um, right now then uh, I'm looking at the composition I'm thinking over this side here I've got a, a lot of wasted space that is not doing anything for the photo at all the photo is to do with this tree here this foreground here up around to to this side here so we'll uh, take the crop tool and bring it in I might even bring in a bit that side as well bring it down unlock it I think we'll have it a little bit more a bit more square so we've got that in the foreground let's uh, click OK and see how that's yeah I'm happy a lot happier with that composition I might even just crop a little bit more off this side eventually um, but for now I'm happy with that in Lightroom okay so uh, just one other thing I'm going to do in Lightroom before I export it um, I'm going to create another masking brush just size it what I want to do this this foreground sort of root here I want to to make a bit more of a feature of it uh, so I'm just gonna lightly paint over that and then I'm just going to just increase the exposure on it slightly bring the highlights um, bring the shadows up um, just so that it's a little bit more prominent in the scene um, I doing that in Lightroom um, because I find that uh, lifting the shadows and lifting the darks in Lightroom um, I, I can it's easier for me to do it in in here than than in Photoshop so I'm, I'm doing it on the initial image uh, in Lightroom before I transfer it into Photoshop and then I can I can work with the overall image once I've transferred it okay so now I'm at this stage um, I'm fairly happy now with the composition I've got this in the foreground these nice lights and that on the trees in the background uh, so now I'm going to export this image uh, edit in and export it across to Photoshop to continue editing over there so let's take a look in Photoshop okay here we are in Photoshop um, right the first thing I'm gonna do we've got the background image here I'm gonna do Control J twice and create myself two copies um, disable the background copy um, that way I've always got that unedited background copy that I can go back to if I'm not happy with it okay on this um, on this top layer here um, what I'm going to do there is have a open the levels up and then I'm going to increase the darks slightly and bring the lights down this gives it a a smoky misty ethereal sort of look um, but obviously that is just too much as it is so then I'll take the uh, take the opacity down on that level layer let's take it to about 40 percent so if I turn that on and off you can just see see what that's doing okay 
so then the next thing on this top layer I'm going to go up to filters and blur filter Gaussian blur and I'm gonna do a round about sort of seven pixel blur on the um, on that level on that layer sorry so there so on this levels layer what you also need to do on that one is click on this box here and that will lock it to this layer it won't affect any of these other layers it will lock it to that layer so now if I turn that layer off now you can see that's the difference between this top layer with that effect levels effect locked to it and without it um, that is called the Orton effect uh, you may well have seen it before on other videos um, but that is a that is an effect called the Orton effect so then what I'm going to do now on this top layer is create myself a layer mask and then using control I I'm inverting that mask so now that is blanking that whole layer out so it's it's hidden that top layer and all we can see now is this layer that's below it you're basically looking through this top layer and looking through to the layer below okay so with that mask inverted there um, we're now gonna over create get a brush uh, increase the brush size okay so with this brush resized I'm going to take the opacity down to about 30% take the flow down to 50% and then the areas I want this hidden ethereal layer to show through I'm going to start painting well I want that in the background so I'm then going to start painting in the background I've got the brush set at 50% so I can can paint it in as much as I want using the big brush to start with and we'll reduce the size of the brush and be a little bit more precise around these so we're, we're just looking at anything that is in the anything that is in the background right in the in the distance what you can only just see so I'll carry on doing that Okay, so uh, I've given that a good covering the areas right at the back. Now I'm going to decrease the brush opacity down to about 10%. And then I'm just going to give these trees that are further back in the scene. Also give them a little bit of a, just a stroke. And just on the base of those trees. Okay. So now what we've done is just created, if I turn that layer on and off again, you can see in the background behind these trees here, we have just softened that, which makes these foreground trees stand out even more okay what I'm gonna do now is 
go to the dodge and burn tool collect the collect the burn tool uh, just a medium sized brush on the shadows exposure set at about 18 percent to start with um, and then I'm now working on this layer here which is the the foreground layer what you can see obviously this this what was the background layer what we uh, did the effect on which is all these bits back here so we're now working on this foreground layer what you uh, what you could do is just double click rename the, name the layer uh, foreground and this one was obviously background uh, then as you're working through uh, you know what layer you're working with so at the moment I'm coming to this layer so I want to click on that layer and I'm just uh, darkening up some of these shadows just uh, increase the brush size um, also in the background so now we're going to the background layer I just want to darken up some of some of these areas um, change it to highlights because I want to just darken the highlights as well in the background slightly so I take them down there up in that corner there just take them down Okay, so now on the foreground layer again, I'm going to go to the highlights tool, pick up mid tones, and then these lighter areas. I just where the sun is shining through, I just want to enhance them and make them a little bit more, bit more prominent, so that it looks like the light is breaking through a little bit more uh, on the side of that tree we're going to give a bit more light on there this area here is a little bit light so i want the focus to be in this area so that area is a little bit light there so i'm going to go back to the burn tool on the highlights take the mid-tones and just take that area down a bit so that that's a little bit darker okay so there now we have got a nice bit of light shining on this tree here through on the base bit of light on this base here uh, this tree back here I think we can probably bring up the highlights a little bit more on that one make that one a little bit more part of the scene and we'll darken down the um, darken down the shadow side just to make them a little bit more okay so that is uh, generally uh, Bit of an idea of how I would go through editing a photo to bring out and get get the look that I'm I'm after uh, if I can what I will do is I'll bring in the unedited image and I will show you them both side by side okay so here's the uh, Here's the two images sort of pretty much side by side or just overlapping a little bit just so I can show you. So this is the original image. Uh, what we've done is, is crop this side because it was just wasted space here. Uh, we wanted to make a bit more of a feature of this, this foreground route here. Uh, we wanted to enhance this sort of light here and make the most of it. Soften the background. Uh, 
dim down this light area here because it's very distracting up there in the corner it just pulls your eye to there and we want we want our eye to be focused on on here and then this general central area so what we've done here's the uh, edited image we've enhanced this uh, this is the edited image what we've done is in, enhance this foreground here a little bit just brought up the shadows and uh, just brought up the lights just to uh, just to make it stand out a little bit more we've obviously cropped like we said uh, we've darkened down this lighter area up here and now what we've done is created this this sort of foreground in this central light area here so that your your eye is pulled to here and using that orange effect we've just softened the background so that these foreground trees just stand out and pop from the screen so hopefully um hopefully that has been some sort of an insight as to how i will go around uh editing my woodland photos okay so hopefully you didn't get too bored with that um it was it was just a an idea because uh, the question was asked as to my uh, my work process uh, my workflow regarding my uh, woodland photography so that just gave you a bit of an insight as to uh, my process and my thinking and and how i how i sort of try to enhance and and bring out those main details that i want you to see in the photo or to hide and to uh, just reduce the areas that you don't want to see so um, it's a case of bringing down bringing down the areas that you don't want to see and enhancing the areas that you do want your your viewer to see in your photo so um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video uh, please check out some of my other videos when I'm out on locations and getting the uh, getting the shots that i need to bring back into lightroom and photoshop to edit in the first place so uh, please check out some of those videos and if you like what you're seeing please uh, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up with the latest content also give me a thumbs up that would be fantastic as you would because it really does help help the channel uh which is which is growing and but i'd like to grow it even further and drop me a comment down below let me know what you think of this uh this video and whether you want a few more of this this type of video maybe in the future um but for now uh i'm gonna get myself ready for this week coming weekend and hopefully get out and about a bit more so uh, until then take it easy